How do you use economics to make life better for the average man and woman? My name's David Morgan. I'm the executive chairman of JC Flowers for Europe and Asia Pacific, and I graduated in 1970. My father went bankrupt when I was 10. I went home and saw a big bank mortgagee sale over the front of the house, and I sort of had a drive that I wanted to avoid those fights. The tribe was so small, we were 450 students. Everybody knew everybody. We knew the guys and the women doing the botany and the social sciences and the physical sciences. We established the Trobe University Football Club and it's flourishing here half a century later. Perfect day at university would be waking up without a hangover, going to a Donald Whitehead uh, lecture uh, on macroeconomics, and then talking about that lecture over a beer with that wonderful group of 12 that was the honors year. And we all fell in love with economics and we all went on to do quite important things. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I cannot tell you how influential this man was on my life, Donald Whitehead. He said, what do you want to be? And I said, I want to be a professor of economic history. And he said, oh, come on, you can do better than that. And urge people like me and Bill Kelty and Tony Sheehan to go out and do something to change the economic fabric of our nation. That almost brings tears to my eyes. The debt that I owe him is incalculable, incalculable. Latrobe gave me fantastic grounding in economics and also a love of economics that provided a platform to go on and, and do a master's and a PhD at the London School of Economics and thence to uh, work at the National Monetary Fund and end up number two in the Federal Treasury. And then uh, on the back of that to go on to be chief executive of, of Westpac. So career-wise, hard to overestimate the foundation that gave me for the wonderful opportunities that I've had but also it gave me just fantastic leadership experience.